players. Hey, Brent Suter, we've talked all year long about you have to bring energy. That's never an issue with Brent Suter. Yeah, and beating up the fake hit, fake hitter. <laughs> Take the gravel. I think I'll. Uh, <laughs> Maybe get out of my chair, Arch. Good job down in the end, so. Oh, yeah, careful, careful. <laughs> Back at Grenke, because here's what Grenke said pointed to his rib. <laughs> he said, I'm coming to get you. And they have a good laugh. It looks a little uncomfortable, though, because he doesn't really know is Zach being serious or not. Friends, that's all I'm saying. Marte and Cabrera get tangled up over there at first base. I know Cabrera's a funny guy over there. The other day against the Rays, uh, I think it was Randy Orozarin. See, look, he just broke his leg. Chris, how you doing, man? How are you? Salvi, what's up, brother? Take it easy on us today, man. Come on, killing us. The Dodgers do about as best as anybody with runners in scoring position. They don't strike out. It's one of the traits of, of a team that has allowed themselves to have success. You saw that scouting report there. The acronym for Randy. That's about all you need to know. And he got him. Watch out. Johnny Cueto was expecting to Cueto and Cueto turned around didn't see it coming and I think it hit him in the back of the head. Wow. You know I, I'm surprised that doesn't happen more really. So uh, what I guess Wong overslid the bag is that what happened or slid late. No, he's fine. <laughs> he just stopped. He just looks like a little leaguer. Yeah he does look like a. There's slides on the. On the slip inside, you know? Yeah. Except somebody turned the water off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's twice. That's Melanson. He's caught two in two games. It's Melanson that caught it last yeah, night, right? It was. He didn't even have to move. He was standing on the mound. This yeah. He ran for it. Hi. Joe going to go old school as a manager. He used to be the third base coach back in the day. Albert says, yo, I got it. <laughs> Even he's laughing about that one, like after a dog to roll over. He was just rolling over. Last inning, Jared Oliver in his first couple of days in the big leagues. I mean, how many times through the years have we seen that? A rookie outfielder loses his card and his positioning card. Another, but also luckily that one of our guys found it. You wouldn't want that to get into <laughs> enemy hands. He was in the stretch and realized, uh oh, I gotta get step off and clear myself again. And, and look at Molina. <laughs> yeah, guess who saw it? Yadi and Molina saw it. Said, hey man, you, you don't need to go through the stretch. When he gets on base, he creates havoc. But when he does this, it puts you up one nothing. It's even better. That's a pitch right in the heart of the strike zone. And give him credit. He put a good swing on it. And twins are up one nothing. There it is. Is that the praying mantis? I think so. I would want that off me too, I think. May not be anybody having a better time than Ronald Acuna Jr. He doesn't usually get along with the men's fans. That's why he's social distancing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. It wasn't me. Get off this hill. Yeah, that's right. And Dahlbeck gets plunked. Here it is. Ooh. I'll act like a lawn dart to start with. <laughs> Gotta be, get a berries to dive. The baton's my little brother here. Yeah. Let's go five. Carry us. Our last one. Our last one. Our last one here. Let's go, man. Bring, bring the energy today. Need you on level 10. Jack Curry had a much easier time in your second book. Well, I wouldn't say an easier time, no. <laughs> Go for Jack Curry. I'm a hard guy to track down. You know? I mean, that was easy to find. You know, when, when you're in uniform, you got to show up. That's what I'm talking about, man. You're your first base more often, man. I guess you locked in. Dude, he's moving, bro. What an athlete. He's everywhere. What an athlete. 
Hey, cuz! <laughs> Talk to me, cuz. Talk to me, baby. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. And he gets the silent treatment. I guess it had been so long, nobody remembered what it was like for Jeff McNeil to hit him on run. Look at them. He's fine with it. <laughs> That's funny. This is after the last out of the eighth inning. And usually he points it out towards center field, but this time he pointed the arrow out and shot it at the Angels' dugout. Boy, I love this. This is what baseball is all about, especially now two rivals going at it. The Phillies were working out around him, and he was, yeah, very genial host there. He brought on the Red Sox, asked them if they'd like to share a little bit. Poppy, David Ortiz came in for a little something, but. He doesn't want to take the tiara. I'm not sure why. I love you, George. Hey, man. George, I love you. Okay, you got to announce that. You're looking for any reason not to talk to me, aren't you, cuz? 